Hello Uganda, we are going into a very decisive moment and I believe that the race is tight, everybody is qualified, we actually have a lot of people that we're proud of that are standing for this office, but I think we should stand for a leader that delivers, we should stand for a leader that will actually speak up when there is uh, need to speak up, that will hold government accountable, that will deliver, that will speak for the Muntua Wansi. We have only one woman that has had a track record. 1988, she led FIDA to set up the first legal aid clinic in Kampala, in Uganda, and she led FIDA to start the fight for women, for women's rights. By the time the gender ministry was established, FIDA had long been fighting for the rights of women. We are not voting her because she's a woman, but because she fights for minorities. We need a parliament that has a voice that speaks for everybody, for those that are voiceless. We need a parliament that is going to ask the questions that every Ugandan wants to ask. We do not have to look very far. We have somebody with a track record. She has chaired the speakers in the, in the Commonwealth. She has embraced rule of law to an extent that she's infamous for calling out government officials when they're corrupt. We have seen a lot of bills pass through parliament that would not have otherwise passed through. She has championed the cause of the disabled, she has championed the cause of women, she has championed the cause of children, she has championed the cause of minorities. She speaks up with the judiciary being strengthened that we had a strong parliament that will hold the executive accountable, that will hold the judiciary accountable. There will be no checks and balances in our government if we do not have somebody that is strong. Let's vote somebody with a track record, let's vote somebody with a heart for Ugandans, let's Let's vote somebody with a passion for the rule of law. Let's vote Honorable Rebecca Alituala Kadaga. I'm Fiona Wall, President of Uganda Law Society, and I'm proud to endorse her.